Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to this Nancy stream. Today we're taking a look at Synthmaster 1 in AUM multi stacking them. So, be right, I updated to ISOL, I, 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 iOS 12. This is iOS 12. It's an iPad Air 2, so it's old. It's iOS 12 now. Before I updated to iOS 12, I could only run three Synthmaster 1s and I it, would it, it, it couldn't handle it. Really, really just couldn't deal with it. Now I can run uh, five, one, two, three, four, five. Now it still will go high, but it won't explode sort of thing. So iOS 12 has made a massive improvement um, to the efficiency of the CPU, especially for audio and stuff like this. Synthmaster 1 is just absolutely epic for doing this kind of thing. So I've got this like multi-layered mega, mega thing going on. So I'm just gonna shut the microphone and uh, I'm going to play you some of I'm going to play a little bit of this and then we might like quickly set up another one sort of thing, show you how I did it. So I'm just going to close the mic. Just check this out. Five of these running at the same time. Awesome. is that huge huge right so the solo sounds this is slightly panned over as you can see see now if i start to write it, it cracked up then because i was playing six notes okay so where before i was only actually playing two that's three and bearing in mind although you can only hear one sound it's still triggering all of them so second sound was this. Like this is like the, the um, D50 Bell. Uh, Bell D50 Fantasy. Got that one slightly panned over with some width. And then... So they're pretty high maintenance sounds anyway, but all together they just sound... Oh. Depth, the depth is just absolutely incredible. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I've already saved this, so I can clear this session out. I'll quickly set up a couple of these. Okay, so let's start with a three. Let me go to our audio unit extensions here. I'm going to go and find Synthmaster 1. There it is. And I'll do the same for this one. Audio unit extension. Go down to Synthmaster 1. <laughs> It's a long way away. That's too far away, actually. I think I've gone past it. There it is. <laughs> and we'll do one more. I'll try and do something slightly different with this one. Just layering super pads. Um, but, oh, the sound. I mean, just sample that sound, you know. Sample it. <laughs> sample one note. Incredible. Here we go. Synth Math the One. Synth Math the One. Right, and what I'm going to do... 
is I'm going to route this to my MIDI keyboard, which is also, it's the Yamaha MX49. So it's also acting as the audio interface. You might not notice, notice there's no headphone now. It's all coming through the audio from the Yamaha. It's cool. Um, we'll go port one with that as well. And the port one with that one. So that's the actual, that's Synth Master's Tinnies then. That's all playing the same, that same uh, sequence sort of thing. Let's go and have a look here. Let's go and have a look at the browser. And let's go to drums. Let's go to see if we've got some, um, tell you what we'll do. We'll solo this, because I, I haven't tried this. Okay, it's cool. So that's not what I'm looking for. I'm, that's what's that? D L D L. I think we'll stick with something quite quick. That's me just playing one note on the MIDI keyboard, so it's like sequencing itself, you know. Well, that'll do for that. And then for this one, we shall solo this one. I will choose a slightly different arpeggiator. Yeah, that'll do. Just for, just for demonstration purposes, really. And we'll solo this one. And what will she do with this one? Have a... Is that, let's have another another arpeggiator with this one, actually. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Right, so the three of these together, we might need to turn the hats up. Uh, so... Okay, cool beans. Let's add another one. Let's add some strings, maybe the pad sound. But you can see now that I'm not, ex you know, it's great. I can do this. I can set this up. And if I wanted to like start looping or sampling it in something, you know, it's very cool. I mean, for already, I could never have done that before iOS 12. I don't know what they've done, but they've improved the effect. The whole thing seems a lot smoother as well. Which is which is very nice. So let's go into our browser here. Let's choose some. Let's choose some pad sounds. Let's go. Choose. I'm going to Hollywood strings, maybe. Sorry, guys, I forgot to wonder why I wasn't hearing it. That might be nice. So what we're doing, 46%. Let's play some bass as well. Modulation wheel. So there you go, you get the picture. And of course with AUM, save this session, save it as uh, synth 
Master one, two, and because uh, it's the second one I did. Anyway, guys, listen, thanks for watching. Synth my style, I'll put links in the description below. It's an incredible synth, but with iOS 12, it's, oh, it's gone all so efficient. I'm very impressed. Actually, strangely enough, it was the first iOS that didn't hesitate over for ages, you know, major update. It didn't hesitate over for ages and ages. And to be absolutely honest with you, it went absolutely swimmingly smooth. The whole thing completed itself in about 20 minutes from like actual start to finish. So it was great. Dead easy, very smooth, very happy. Um, yeah, cool beans. Synthmaster 1 running multi megas. <laughs> <laughs> multi mega synth masters awesome listen thank you for watching and i'll see you guys later